Hey everyone, got a backpack review for you. What you're looking at here is the North Face Terra 35. Thank you to Young's Backpacking for hosting. Uh, just going to go over some of the features of this bag and show you uh, the interior and exterior. And uh, yeah, just let you guys see maybe this might be a backpack you might want to take for your hiking needs or three to four day excursions. So uh, let's get started. Going to the suspension system, you got a really padded waist belt. I actually would prefer a smaller waist belt. Uh, some people will want uh, more padding. Uh, to be fair, it is really soft and really comfortable, nice and spongy, but uh, personally I like a smaller waist belt. But it's there if you want it. If this is what you're into, that's great. Show you a class here in the front. Opening it up, you have some nice well padded uh, shoulder straps. Uh, I like the feeling of this material. It's the same material that's used in the waist belts. Uh, this really nice soft spongy kind of uh, polymer. I don't know what it is, but uh, I really do like it. You have an adjustable sternum strap that uses the tubular design for adjustment. And then on the back here you have an air comfort system, which basically you have two cushions here on either side. Then you have a mesh panel with some space in between to allow a little bit of air to circulate so that your back doesn't sweat as much when you're walking around with this pack. You got a nice haul loop, and I do like the fact that they coated the haul loop with uh, this rubberized material. Just makes it a little bit more durable, and it's more comfortable for when you got to just haul uh, the top of your bag with one hand. Turning the bag to the side, you got side compression straps, two on either side, so one here at the top, one here at the bottom. And then you have elastic mesh pockets, and it's the same for the other side as well, as you can see here. Turning to the front of the bag. You got two small gear loops right here at the bottom to attach things, and on the other side, you have one main ice axe loop. And then what they have here, let me just undo the lid, is a Velcro strap so that you can loop your ice axe loop through here and then stabilize it with this Velcro strap right here. That's nice. Then you have one long front pocket for storing easily storable items right here. Uh, would only want to store flat items though, or items that can be um, uh, bendable. So I'd stick gloves in here, or maybe like a map, so that's fine. Uh, wouldn't want to stick anything bulky just because this doesn't really expand out. This is a little bit elastic right here, but uh, would stick to flat items for the top front pocket. Now this is a top loader design, which is basically a sack with a lid. Looking at the lid itself, you have two pockets. Look at the top here, going from the back. Lift this up. You have a top zipper compartment here on the lid. And inside of that pocket, you have another mesh zipper pocket as well. And inside of that, you have like a little lanyard loop. So that's nice. So you can stick things and then separate gear between the main part and then whatever is in the mesh compartment. When you open up the lid, if you look underneath, One thing I would have liked to see is to have them put another zipper compartment on the interior. You see that a lot on top loader designs, would have liked to have seen an extra pocket right here. Wouldn't have taken too much time with them. Then, opening up to the main compartment, let's see, just undo this pan right here, see if I can open this up as much as possible. You'll notice that it's quite roomy inside, and here's the pouch where the hydration bladder will go. Right here, this little pouch. Then if you're wondering what this is here, if you lift these two Velcro tabs, you can access the aluminum stays that give the frame of this bag uh, its structure. In fact, you can pull out the entire back panel right here like so. So that's a nice option. Um, you don't really need to do that. It's already uh, pre-bent to certain specifications, but if you want to, you have the access of pulling out this back panel. inside there. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple bag. Um, well thought out. It's part of a North Face more value line. Um, not a cheap buy bag by any stretch of the imagination, but it is more affordable. It comes in around $100, $110. And so if you're looking for a quality bag um, that's uh, still affordable yet with a lot of options, you might want to look at the North Face Terra 35. In addition to that, if you want a little bit more capacity, just reach over here. It comes in a larger size. 
there is the North Face Terra 45. I don't know if I can get this in frame, but here's the 35 in the black, and then here's the 45 in the green. Sorry if I can't fit this all in frame. Let's see if I can pull back. See the difference in size there. So just an extra 10 liters of storage space. Uh, the 45 will have exactly the same features as the 35. It's just uh, extra carry capacity, that's all. Yeah, that's my little review of the uh, North Face Terra 35. If you're looking for a simple, affordable hiking pack for a couple of days out on the uh, road, you might want to give this a shot. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day.